Hello. Anybody there? Good evening, Hannah. Yes, you think thinking, why is Dave running around the house? There's a reason for that. Good evening, Sharon. I do apologise being late. Um, two things. Um, one is, um, I've just been watching that load of rubbish called Spurs on the telly. Good evening, Kathy. Yes, hello, question one. Yes, don't worry, I will take the hood off in a minute. And you, I was walking around the house. The reason is, about two minutes ago, good evening, Carol, I put the, the tablet on, went on the church site, and I have to do a couple of things, live video. And uh, good evening, Ron, good evening, Jane, good evening, Maria. And... Um, the screen just froze. Um, I kept coming out of it and it wouldn't, uh, every time I went to Facebook, all you all saw of me was like that. And I'm thinking, oh well, very well. So did a couple of tweaks, went upstairs, came back down and it's all working. So good evening. So I do apologize. I haven't even got my book open because um, it all went a bit, uh, all went a bit pear shaped, just like my team. They didn't lose, but uh, yeah. Well, good evening. you're wondering why I've got my hood up. Well, I'm going to reveal to the world, I've, um, yes, this week I've had my hair cut. Um, earlier, other than my family here and a few people at uh, GP Gardening, I've done a couple of days' work, we'll go about that a bit in a minute. Um, earlier on we had a church wardens meeting very quickly before the Spurs game, because normally it's at Harper State and I said the Father Tame and... Spurs on the telly, so we had it at quarter past seven. Um, they saw new me, and I'll here we go. It seems like one of those, like, um, you know, those um, American movies when the guy takes a hood and they oh no, it's you, you know. Here we go. There you go, it's, it's the new me. Yes, who's uh, now? No laughing, no screaming at the camera. Yes, I had it on Tuesday afternoon. That's the last time I saw you, Carol, um, when we were doing the gardening and uh, got home, had some lunch, and uh, I thought I'll go and get the old barnet done. So here we are. Yes, it's a bit close. I think I had a mask on. The guy was doing it. I think a bit of miscommunication, but luckily, even at my old age, it grows back, and even it already has. But I think this is a number naught, I think Matthew said. Um, I did get a few funny looks, but already. Um, at least it hasn't, uh, you know, it'll be a timer. I, uh, yeah, very good, yeah, don't, yeah, who's laughing, come on. Um, but uh, I, I just saw the, the lump, clumps, I suppose you'd call it, of grey hair falling in, oh, there you go, I'm on. <laughs> Always late, don't ask me why. Um, on my lap and on the floor, and, um, but yes, it uh, does feel a bit better. When I come out, all oh, my old ears are cold, um, uh, you know, couple of hours before I looked like the old mad doc out of um, Back to the Future and then uh, it's the new me you know but uh, there you go enough about enough about my hair but um, yes good evening Hannah yes Marie I might have said to you I do apologize uh, Sharon yeah all Kelly Maureen Ron Carol oh Rebecca yeah I won't talk about the football will we uh, yeah got away with it hopefully Kane's not injured Football no more. Still got my shirt on though, but there you go. There you go. So, uh, yes. Um, yeah, last time I was on, yeah, it seems a, a while ago. It was Easter Day, wasn't it? Uh, shirt and tie then, a bit more casual tonight. A lot of hair then. Because um, obviously last week we, uh, uh, Father Tone, Father Vince, uh, sort of parish Easter break. So last Friday it did help a bit because uh, last Friday was Jane's birthday. So, um, well, couldn't go out, but. Uh, we, um, yeah, had a takeaway, so at least I didn't have to sort thoughts of the night out that time. So, uh, yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, so there you go. So, um, yeah, I did a bit of um, work for a GP Garden this week, and um, had a funny day, yeah, yesterday, and uh, you would, some of you might know it, there's a, um, I think it's, is it Straff, something Straightfield Road, Straightfield Road, it's right by... Um, for those who live local, of course, um, St John's on Clay Hill, that small church on the corner as you go around, used to be the fella buck on the left-hand side. You go up to North Enfield Cricket Club, 
Um, good evening, Nina. And um, yes, it um, it was a house there, and they'd had some jet washing, and you have to go back and put the old um, sand down to fill the, because they block paving. Um, you just basically throw it on the floor, brush, and of course, but it has to be nice and dry because it's very soft sand, can't be damp because it would then go lumpy. Um, doing very well. Thursday afternoon, all of a sudden, it started to rain, didn't it? So I had to sit in the van for half hour, eat my sandwich. Uh, it did dry, but um, yeah, eventually got it done. But uh, you know, but there you go. That's um, that's the English weather for you. And um, yeah, so I've got a bit of a bit of a joke story. I do apologise. I'll just get on my phone before we get onto the um, the serious stuff of the uh, evening, and um, so that I don't uh, do this wrong and. Um, it was one I was going to show, where are we? There you go. Two I'm organised tonight, can't you? Been watching Spurs, that's probably why. It's enough to make you go mad, isn't it? Yeah, little stories. It's about the... Good evening, Roy. Good evening, Diane. Welcome to Friday night. Yes. Bit of a... Bit of a joke, I suppose, yeah. When our lawnmower broke, <laughs> not going and wouldn't run, my wife kept hinting to me that I should get it fixed. But somehow, I always had something else to take care of first. There was always something more important to me. Finally, she thought of a clever way to make her point. And when I arrived home one day, I found her seated in the tall grass, busily snip away with a tiny pair of scissors. I walked silently for a short while, then went into the house. I'd only gone a minute when I came out and handed a toothbrush. I said, when you finish cutting the grass, you might as well sweep the driveway. Oh, the doctor says I will walk again, but I'll always have a limp. There you go. Boom, boom. And there was another one, which I quite liked. And you know, it's a picture, and it's, it's two women. It's about women multitasking, and men are a bit whatever. It, the lady says to the other, we're looking for someone who can, who can do the work of two men. Oh, it's only a part-time job. Oh, boom, boom. There you go. Enough of that. And um, we'll have a bit more on my phone later with the music. Now, tonight's music, I will say, is I've got two songs to play, but they've got a similar theme. They're both sort of pop songs, that type, from the 80s. Um, and uh, you'll realise what it is. So, and um, I know we've... Oh, just move that back a bit. And, oh, I haven't lit my Easter candle. Let's, uh, let's get that going. There you go. Which I, I first lit on Easter Day. You can see it's the cross and it's got 20, well, I know it's back to front, 2021. So I haven't lit it since Easter Day. So, um, oh, I ain't going to go out, is it? So uh, hopefully that will keep, keep a light. Um, and another thing is, I know um, our friend in America, is it Gene Alonso? We, we had that, our, my sto ongoing story about the, um, I can't even remember the name. You'll you, you tell me, it's the, it's, the, it's the plant that comes out at Christmas. And I've always kept it going. Um, oh, please help me, someone, please help me. But I wanted to say, there you go, I'm starting to get red leaves on it. Yeah, for people who don't know this, I won this in a raffle pre-Christmas 2019. Yes, 2019. Um, down at a very good friend, Ponsetia. Thank you. Thank you for the wife helping me out there. Thank you, Ronnie. Ponsetia. Um, it, yeah, it's a, we went to a Christmas um, evening bash at the St. Pete's and Paul's. So it was early December 2019. I had a raffle bought tickets and we won this because obviously it would have been all bright red um, and we kept it going what's that a year and year and 15 months four, 16 months um, and it had gone green but I thought we're not going to get rid but I'll just show you look there you go they're starting to turn I know, I know our friend Gene Alonso who comes online uh, services and falls from the night sometimes a bit later because obviously she's American time and uh, she says, oh, yeah, we, uh, she lives in America. They get a load of Ponsettias. And if you keep them, we've got ours. It's normally sitting on the shelf in the uh, kitchen on the windowsill. 
Um, keep it watered and fed, it will keep going. And here we are. And it's just recently those leaves have started to, which is the red that Pond said here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carol, and the others. Oh, Margaret. Good evening, Margaret. Yeah, lovely. All right, so I know that recently, but yes, it was nice to get back into the church. A bit quieter after Easter. We had the lovely Easter. Thanks for those who were there, joined us online. Um, always a sort of busy time of the year, but obviously a bit different this year. Last year we couldn't get in, as you know. Um, but um, yeah, and it was great over the Holy Week and the whole Easter weekend. Um, and it's a, I feel, most important time for our faith in the Christian faith. That's what it's all about. And I just want to talk a bit about where the word faith is um, tonight. Um, before we have our songs, which I'll just put a couple of clues out there, they've both got faith in the title. So I'll leave you to click your brains to sit here, you see, what two songs we might have. Um, I'll play sort of a bit of each from each one uh, before we have our prayers at the, uh, at the end. So, um, excuse me, have you got your drink as well? A nice cup of tea. I would have had a uh, celebrating beer, I suppose, the one, but there you go. But no, we, what is faith? And in, in, actually in the Bible, in Hebrew, um, chapter 11, verse 1, it says, Now faith is the insurance of things hoped for, for the conviction of things not seen. And it's so true to us all, and it concerns the function of faith in relation to the covenant of God, which is often used as our definition of faith, which is uh, very true. Sharon, she's just put, you've got our faith, George Michael. Could be, could be. And good evening, Jeanette. Good evening, Leslie. Good evening, Helen. And um, yes, and the fourth thing, faith means belief, assurance, firm convictions and faithfulness. Good evening, Faye. Faith is confidence in what we hope for for the and the insurance that the Lord is working, even through even though we cannot see it. Faith that faith knows no matter what the situation in our lives or someone else that the Lord is working in it. So what does Jesus say about faith? And a couple of bits from the Bible, from Psalm 46, verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations and I will be exalted into the faith. And that's what Jesus thinks gives us the faith. Be still and know that I am God. I'm sure I know that from the, one of the hymns. So, and Because a lot of hymns, church hymns, some we all know words are from sayings within the within the Bible. If you um, know that, obviously you've been in the choir, you know a lot of hymns and a lot of words are used from scripture. Good evening, Kelly. Good evening, Ron. Good evening, Faye. So if I've missed any one out. And from John 8, verse 24. Unless you believe that I am who I claim to be, you will die in your sins. So faith is what helps us to get through those dark times in our lives, helping to give us strength in times of weakness. Without faith, we are nothing. So, yeah, that's very true, I feel, because um, you, I suppose, as a person, yeah, you've got to have faith in things you do, and that, in a way, goes to our Christian life, of faith in what we believe in. And sometimes that is faith. You've got to have courage, and all the words that I've said, you know, to to believe that you will have faith in what do we do. Oh, Carol Betwith, keep the faith Bon Jovi. Very sorry, no. So you can cross that one out. Good evening, Sharon Barron. Good evening, Beverly. Nice to see you. Yes, yes, Dave's had his hair cut. Um, and as Christians, we generally agree that faith in Christ Jesus lies at the core of the Christian tradition, which is very true, and that such faith is required in order to be a Christian. So the word faith, which I did a bit of investigation about what it means, is very true. And I suppose at this time, um, you know, tomorrow we've obviously uh, in the country, we've got Prince Philip funeral. 
Um, and you can't say someone like the Queen or him of their, their Christian faith throughout their, their lives, especially the Queen, um, has been dedicated to her faith, which is what we, most of us, try to do. And um, sometimes you need faith and that to get, as I said, through the hard times because we all have our ups and downs, um, especially in the period we are in. Um, people that we know, who we see no longer. Um, and in the year we've had, and it, it's continuing, we are gradually getting better, but we know that um, our faith is sometimes stronger when we need it, when we are down and we're feeling weak and the people that uh, surround you, your family and friends, which is most important. Um, now, excuse me. Now, I have two songs. I would, as I say, they're both from the 80s. One has been guessed. That was Sharon. Uh, can you remember what that was? Um, and I will, here we go, if I can find it. Here's the first one. Now this is by a band called, um, they had a, a World Cup song and they had um, a 12 inch record called Blue Monday that was the best selling 12 inch record of its time. If you old enough like me to know what 12 inch records are size of an LP but a single and I have I have the um, Blue Monday by this band so I will play this first one you well we've got the double bubble bonus bundle and the great speed gigabyte bundle sorry about that let's get rid of the uh, advert bear with me um, yes but I will tell you it's it's called True Faith by uh, new order. So give me a couple of seconds. I do apologise. Here we go. Nineteen eighty three, I think. Good evening, Sharon. Good evening, Mary. Thank you, Ronnie. Yes. Good evening, Alison. Right, there's me first one. Good evening. I'd just like to, before we had the second song, um, I've just seen Alison Foster's name come up. Um, and I just wanted to pass my prayers to you and your family. Um, I know uh, today, uh, early this morning, your Trevor, uh, your father, uh, passed away. Um, may God rest his soul and rest in peace. Um, just a couple of words. I knew Trevor very well through um, scouting. Um, he was group scout leader at the 25th when my father-in-law, Dem, was uh, group scout leader at the 14th, which is our group at St George's Church. And I was scout leader at the time and knew Trevor very well. Um, he's, and I, he was always very helpful. He would help anyone such a lovely guy and when I messaged Alison today I put later on when I used to look at, uh, do hall duty on a Monday night at our church hall and um, when my daughter Rebecca was in the guides who she's the guide leader now and Alison at the time was her guide leader and Alison is the ranger leader now and uh, Trevor used to come 
because um, his wife uh, Margaret was used to do the guide money and we used to sit in there and put the wells to right. I would say to Trevor, just got to you know, check on the gents toilets, but Dave, Dave, just, just listen here, just listen here, you know. And um, yeah, Trevor was, um, was great, it was great. And uh, God rest his soul. Thank you, Alison, I hope you didn't mind me saying those few words. Okay, um, yes, my, our second song, I know, I think Sharon said it earlier on, is um, another classic guy, here we go, before we have our prayers. Give me two seconds. Oh, did you? Very good. Here we go. Yeah, it is George Michael. In fact, just sounds like our church organ, doesn't it? <laughs> Great intro. I get to the faith bit. Oh, thanks, Carol. It's you. Here we go. Okay, um, thanks for the, the music there. Hope you enjoyed that with the word faith, our theme for the evening. Um, the next Friday, I'll be back on again, and it's St George's Day, so um, we know what the, the theme will be then. And um, yes, if we uh, can uh, bow our heads in prayer, please, and I will say the Today, the 16th of April, the Church of England Daily Prayer. God of our lives, we give thanks for the life of Prince Philip, for his love of our country and of his devotion to duty. We entrust him now to your love and mercy, through our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Amen. And in peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. And the Lord bless us and watch over us. And the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. And the Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. If we can say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So yes, thank you for joining us tonight and um, we hope you all have a pleasant weekend um, and uh, whatever you're doing this weekend, I I'll, will see you in church on Sunday um, if you're there in person or if you're there online, you are all most welcome. And um, as I say, please have a, a pleasant and good night and I will see you all soon. 
Thanks for joining and God bless you all. And don't forget, please light your candle. Amen. Good night. Thank you. Have a good one.